April 9th, 2015 is the 150th anniversary of the Confederate surrender at Appomattox that ended the U.S. Civil War. Certainly a significant event, and you'd think a significant anniversary. The surrender at Appomattox is notable in a number of ways, one being simply the contrast between the two commanding officers that seem to represent the two sections that had fought the war. Lee shows up in a splendid, spotless white uniform with his ceremonial sword. Grant, for the Union side, shows up in a muddy blue field uniform. You get the feeling he rubbed some dirt on it on his way in. They come to terms, and among them, Grant decides to allow the Confederates to keep their horses, saying you'll need them for the plowing, which is a generous gesture, but also one that does rather bring the Southern aristocrats down to the level of ordinary Northern farmers. But there was also an element of reconciliation here that is important. After the surrender was signed, the band started to play a celebratory tune, and Grant shushed them. He said, the rebels are our countrymen again. But there's also the reconciliation that didn't happen. Although North and South do gradually come together as one nation, by the time of the Spanish-American War in 1898, President McKinley stands when the band plays Dixie and Southerners take note. But Southerners never forgave black Americans for the fact that white Union soldiers had defeated them. And the bitterness they felt and the revenge they took poisoned the well of race relations in the United States with consequences lasting into the present day. There was a road not taken. But here's something else about the anniversary that strikes me as remarkable. I was looking at it and thinking, okay, this is the end of the Civil War, 150th. So we've been going through 150th anniversaries of all kinds of Civil War events. Civil War is the second most important event in American history after the Revolution. The United States now has a black president, surely a sign of dramatic progress in race relations. And yet, it seems to me that commemorations have been remarkably muted, particularly from the White House. We've heard surprisingly little about the Civil War. A number of people have suggested that Barack Obama's own view of race relations is not that of a black American celebrating the long struggle against slavery, against bigotry, against segregation, finally achieving the dream that Martin Luther King had, but rather of someone seeing things from the outside, of viewing race in a colonial, anti-colonial lens, of thinking of America as primarily an imperial power in the world, doing more harm than good with its hegemony, and fundamentally uninterested in the domestic story of the struggle. Maybe you think that's overdone, but it certainly seems to me that there's a curious lack of attention to these 150th anniversaries of the Civil War. It almost feels like in Canada we had more attention to the War of 1812 than Americans have been giving over the last five years to the Civil War. At any event, whatever the White House may think about it, it's worth remembering Appomattox, both for the reconciliation that was achieved between White North and White South, and for the reconciliation that tragically was not achieved between White Southerners and Black Southerners, the fault of the former, that shows that being willing to forgive and reconcile is a powerful force for good in history, and an unwillingness to do so is a powerful force for evil.